I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today's bootleg tip is what? Barbecue sauce. All my ingredients here that you see are pretty easy to use and you can switch and change and do whatever you like. For me, key essential ingredients, onion, tomato paste, tomato sauce, garlic, a little bit of brown sugar, white sugar, it really doesn't matter, maple syrup, and as you can see, I don't use a fancy brand and it's not real, but it's the flavor that counts, apple cider vinegar, smoke in a bottle. This gives the best hickory flavor that you'll ever need if you want to give your barbecue sauce a little pizzazz. We have some Worcestershire sauce and salt. What I like to do, sometimes I'll interchange with the onion and I'll use a shallot, but what's the point? Shallots are expensive and why would you want to go through the bother if you have onions and garlic on hand? Because really that's all a shallot is. It's kind of like a mix between a garlic and onion. You don't really need a lot. You just want to give that barbecue sauce a little extra added flavor. So I'm gonna go for about maybe a quarter cup of diced onion. We wanna make it kind of small because you don't want too much chunky chunk inside of your barbecue sauce. Garlic, now this is one of my favorite tools that I just recently found. It's a tiny, 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 tiny little grater. So getting just a little bit of garlic. Not a lot, we don't wanna overpower it because we're adding so many other flavors to it. So I'm gonna go with just one piece of garlic in that. And that's it. As always, you should have your pan really nice and hot because when you're sauteing anything, you want to make sure that it sautés and not just kind of goes into your pan and does this little limp dance of nothingness. So a little oil, in goes our onions. And we're gonna let that saute for a hot second. One of the great things about barbecue sauces is that you don't have to use the ingredients that you see me use here. You can add anything that you want. You can make it super spicy. You don't have to add the maple syrup. You don't have to even put any of the smoke in it. You could put honey instead. But the essential thing is you wanna make sure that you cook your barbecue sauce because all good barbecue sauces should be cooked, thickened, and all ingredients should be infused together. So as my onions and garlic are getting nice and soft, I'm going to add my apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar gives it that pungent, kind of nice kick to it. And I wanna reduce it so it doesn't stay the full acidic flavor. In we go. Nice sizzle. Not too much, I don't want a super sour barbecue sauce. I just want to give it a little bit of that flavor. And for me, apple cider vinegar is the only vinegar that you should use. In a pinch, red wine, but it just really ruins the flavor. Apple cider, way to go in barbecue sauces. As the apple cider vinegar starts to reduce, I know that it's time for me to add my tomato paste. So about a half a can of tomato paste is pretty good. It's already sweet. Um, sometimes I like to add a little bit of ketchup to mine. I know that sounds weird, but ketchup always makes a good barbecue sauce. And to thin it out, I like to use tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce on hand, never fear, you can always add water. It works. Once I get that in, I'm gonna add all of my other ingredients, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. If you don't have that, I've always used a little bit of soy sauce in a pinch, but you can buy Worcestershire sauce for $1.99. Always keep it in hand, you'll never go wrong. Maple syrup. I like a lot of maple leaf flavor inside of my barbecue sauce, so I've added maybe about a quarter cup in here. Smoke flavoring. There are a lot of different types of liquid smoke flavoring. You'll get hickory. I guess this is kind of like bacony wood flavor. Okay, in it goes. I did about two tablespoons. Give it a nice twirly. Sometimes I've used apple juice. It actually lends a different type of flavor. But for this, not so much. Okay, that's nice. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of brown sugar. A little bit to me is about a half a cup. I like my barbecue sauce sweet. You don't have to put in so much, but that's okay. We're gonna let it simmer for a while. We're gonna go back to the stove, and when it's done, we're gonna have an amazing barbecue sauce. It's been about 20 minutes. My barbecue sauce is nice and reduced. Nice, nice. Nice barbecue sauce. This is ready to use. Put this on chicken and a sandwich, on some beef, pork, anything. Let's see how this bad boy tastes. Maple syrup, smoky flavor, just the right hint of sweetness, a little bit of cider vinegar. This is the bomb. This is the best barbecue sauce you're ever gonna have. And this is Diane DeMeo with your bootleg tip of the week. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Today, we are making kind of like a Brazilian churrasco with the homemade barbecue sauce. What exactly is Brazilian churrasco? Well, literally, it is the romp.